Well, hi there, everybody. This is just a little bit of uh, chit chat and some a little bit of crochet. It's been a long time since I've made a video. There's been a lot going on in our lives and it just got too overwhelming to even post. Back in December, my mom was having stroke symptoms when we were having sitting here having a family dinner and we had to take her to the hospital and that's been a long road back. Um, their health is really declining and it's kind of tough. It's, you know, it's part of life uh, dealing with elderly parents, but we're continuing on and working on that. We've had a lot of other things going on here at our little homestead. Um, and just like everybody else, dealing with the whole COVID-19 thing. Hubby, right before it hit, we there was talk that they were gonna move him to working from home and it really pushed it to working from home. So we made him a little office space up in the bedroom so he can have quiet and not have the rest of the family driving him crazy while he's trying to work. And uh, in the process, uh, my in-laws had also decided that they were gonna move to Arizona, went looking for houses and uh, found a place um, they're, ha they're having built and that is a few large blocks over from us um, in a real nice little housing community but their house is being built they put their house on the market and it sold in one day so they are currently living with us so we have eight people living here and I'm used to being at home during the day by myself, which is very strange. Uh, Josh is currently unemployed. He was working at a bar restaurant and they required him to work like 12 and 14 hour shifts and it was just way too much for him. And so they agreed that he could not work there anymore and he was going to go looking for a new job when COVID-19 hit, and so there goes the opportunities to go on job interviews and that sort of thing. So he's been a real big help with doing stuff around the house and that sort of thing. So that's a little bit of a plus for me. Uh, Emily is still working at the cookie company. She is now a store manager and 21 years old, manager of the store in a really short period of time. Michael is of still working at the organic farm and working uh, farmers markets when they send him out of those. It's a lot of hard work, but it keeps him out of trouble. And here I am just doing my thing. You can see I haven't done the whole beauty shop thing like anybody else either. Um, I'm going to make some other videos about some of the projects that we've had going on around the homestead and some of the things that we're planning on doing. And there's some We've had some really exciting changes and we're going to have some fun changes. Today I am working on a um, shawl, a rectangular shawl, and I'm using these colors which kind of remind me of a vintage beach towel type of color. And these are uh, Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand and the, let me see, where's the colors here? Looking on the label, they're three and a half ounce, 100 gram, 170 yard, 156 meter, medium size, four acrylic yarns. And oh, here it is. This color is pink grapefruit. I got them off of the Lion Brand website. I not sure if they were discontinued colors or if they were just on sale, but I've been buying some yarn on sale. This color is pistachio. And this color they call, where's the thing? Lemon. I just thought they were summery, springy colors. So I decided to start by foundation chaining. Well, it's not a chain. It's where you, your next stitch goes into the bottom of the stitch you just made. I'm not sure if you've ever done the foundation 
stitches like that. Um, foundation, foundation stitched it till I got it to the width that I wanted. Then I'm doing five rows of double crochet, one row of half double crochet, five rows of double crochet. So that's the pattern that I'm basically working on. And it's just kind of good for spring evenings and that sort of thing. It's started it's gotten real hot here pretty quick. It seems like it's gotten hot here um, earlier in the year than it did last year. I don't know oops. I don't know where my tripod is, so I'm balancing it my phone up right but um, yeah the these are these are some hooks that my husband got me for my birthday back in December they've got this nice bamboo handle so they're super lightweight a lot easier on my hands and uh, real easy to use they glide nicely don't know where you got them from got them online but they're they're really nice Working on the studio some more, still trying to put it together. I got a brother um, embroidery machine for Christmas, which was really exciting. Haven't used it yet because I'm still trying to put the, the studio together. I had originally started putting all sorts of things on the shelves that are sitting out in the room. And I've decided I need to use those shelves for yarn instead and put the other things inside the closet. So I'm trying to do the transition of moving those back and forth right now um made some masks like a lot of other crafters have done we made them for the family made like a pocket style that a pleated pocket style that we can put a folded over big coffee filter in for some extra protection and <clears throat> excuse me daughter had friend asked me to make some for them too we are uh, staying in as much as possible only going out for the things that we need the our area does not have a lot of cases we're over here on the West Valley of Phoenix and things are a lot more wide open and that sort of thing our, our governor is um, starting to open some things back up today and they're doing the little bit at a time, which I think is uh, a necessary step. We need to get businesses back up and running, but we need to do things in a careful manner. People need to be washing their hands. Hopefully that's, you know, people are get, being smarter about things. We live in a world where, um, here in the United States, where hygiene can be done, but people need to do it. And that's part of what's going to stop the, a lot of this. Um, we are being careful because my in-laws living here and uh, we've, I've been taking groceries up to my parents, trying to keep them out of the stores as much as possible so that they're not being exposed to cruddy people that aren't washing their hands. But I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and getting inspired by people and the projects that they're doing. Um, different uh, projects that I want to get going on. Um, excited about some different projects that we're in the middle of, which we'll show you in future videos, and ones that I have planned too. But as usual, I just keep crocheting, and I am planning on getting back to some more videos, and that's about all that's going on for now. Anyway, this is Hometown to Homestead Gal Gardener. I hope you are all well and healthy and happy and taking this time to reconnect and uh, maybe find some new skills, um, learn some new things, and not... Uh, not worry too much. Things are going to be okay. And God's got your back. So, take care.